Okay, so first of all, I have here a PowerPoint presentation and I want to create a conclusions slide for this. However, sometimes I think a conclusions slide with a bullet pointed list can be kind of boring. So I'm going to show you a way of doing this, which is more visually interesting by going to insert and zoom and slide zoom. Then I'm going to select every single one of my slides except for the first one and the last one. And then I'm going to select insert and it will take a second to load. But now I have each of my slides as a little image and I'm going to spread these out across the slide. And then I think I'm going to make all of these smaller by selecting them and then going to 4.6. Then I'm going to try and line all of these up a little bit more. And to make sure all of these are lined up, I'm going to select them and then align center. And then select these ones and do the same thing. And then finally also a line center for these ones. Then I'm going to select this and a line middle. And these ones, if I can select them and a line middle. And then these ones and a line middle. Okay, and now I have them all lined up. I'm going to select this and go to Zoom Tools and Format and I'm going to select Return to Zoom and then I'm also going to select this one and select Return to Zoom. Now if I start my presentation, I have my conclusions slide here with each of my slides represented as an image so I can talk about my presentation and summarise what I've discussed. And then sometimes afterwards, people will have questions about a particular slide. So I can just click on here and it will zoom in to that slide for me. And then when I'm done talking about it, I can click on it again and it will zoom back out for me. And that is what the return to zoom feature does. If I click on one of these where I haven't set up that feature and then click on it again, it will take me to the next slide in the presentation. Now, if I come out of the presentation, and this will only work in the most recent version of PowerPoint. If you have an older version, there is a way of trying to imitate this effect, which involves saving all of the slides as an image by going to File and Save As, and then selecting JPEG and save and all slides and OK. Now I can go to insert and pictures and I have all of my slides now saved as an image. So I'm just going to select all of them and I'm going to insert them. And they come up really massive to start off with, so I'm going to make these smaller. And now I have little images for each of my slides. I'm just going to delete that one. And I can arrange all of these the same way I did before, though I'm not going to bother to do that now. I'm just going to use this one as an example. And I can select it and go to Insert and then select Link. And then make sure I have placed in this document selected and go to slide 10 because this is slide 10 and OK. There is another way of doing this by going to action and hyperlink to and selecting slide and then selecting slide 10 and OK and OK again. Now I also need to go to slide 10 and go to transitions 
and I need to select the zoom transition. Now, if I go back to here and start my presentation, if I click on this image, it will zoom me to that slide. Now you can see the effect works a little bit differently, but that is what you need to do if you have an older version of PowerPoint. Okay, and that is it.